Good morning. How did we learn to walk? We took what is called baby steps, one step at a time with many falls along the way. Finally, the day came when those baby steps turned into us learning how to walk. One of my greatest memories as a parent was watching my children take their first baby steps. Oh, we would cheer and clap when they finally took a step and they would get so excited and that usually made them lose their balance and they'd fall down and we'd have to stand them back up and encourage them to try again. Those baby steps would eventually turn into them walking, but it all started with just one step. Well, doing the devotional in his steps, and that's the one where I talked about living how Jesus would live if he were alive today. Well, he is alive, but on this earth today, I came across uh, many verses while I was studying for that devotional that talked about how we should walk on earth. 1 John 2, 6, He that saith he abideth in him ought himself also so to walk even as he walked. So if I abide in him or if I say I'm a Christian, I need to learn how to walk. I need to quit drinking milk, as the Bible says, quit taking baby steps, and I need to grow up and really learn how to walk, as a Christian should walk. I'd like to say that just like babies learning to walk, we may face some falls along the way, but we will never learn to walk as a Christian if we don't get up and try again. You will fail at some of the ways that God tells us to walk in his word. But don't stay on the ground. Get back up. And take another step. Every step my children took gave them courage to take a few more. I hope that what I've learned about walking as Christ would walk will help you as you learn to walk as a Christian. The Bible says in 1 John 16, I'm sorry, 1 John 1 verses 6 through 7, if we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanseth us from all sin. These verses reveal to us that there are two ways to walk. First, we could walk in the light of Jesus Christ, or we could walk in darkness. Before we were saved, we walked in darkness. So when the Bible talks about walking in darkness, it means that we're walking like before we were saved, walking like the world, living like those who are not God's children. Jesus, on the other hand, brings light. He is the light of the world, John 8, 12. Then spake Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. We went camping a couple weeks ago with our family. My daughter, Liberty, woke me up at 3.15 in the morning to tell me she had to use the restroom. So I crawled out of bed, not too happily, I might add, and I got a lantern and I led the way to the restroom. Now, Liberty didn't need to bring a flashlight because I had a lantern. And as long as Liberty stayed right behind me, she could see the path in front of her and could see where she needed to step and where she needed to watch out for roots or things that were on the ground that might trip her. She could follow in my light and see where to walk. Jesus says if we follow him, we won't walk in darkness, but we will be able to walk in his steps in his light, and we will know where we need to go, what we need to avoid, so we can avoid falling down or tripping. Ephesians 5, 8, For ye were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the Lord. Listen to this. Walk as children of light. How do children of light walk then? Romans 6, 4. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. When we become a Christian, and when we follow him in baptism, we are identifying with Jesus. Notice it doesn't say that we will walk in newness of life. It says we should walk in newness of life. There should be a change, a difference in how we live as children of light than how the world lives walking in darkness. This change, though, according to this verse, does not automatically happen. It takes baby steps then. 
before we finally learn how to walk as Christ would walk or walk in newness of light as children of light. Some Christians get discouraged when they fall down and they might stay down and never get back up. They think they can't do it. Some are content that they're just saved and they stay babies and never rise up to higher ground of following and walking in the light of Jesus and how he would walk and live his life. But we should, that verse says, we should walk in newness of life. Now, sometimes when my kids fell, when they first started walking, they would get scared to get up and try again. Maybe they bonked their head or scraped their knee and they wouldn't want to try again. They were afraid they would fall again. But if they never got up, and tried again, they would still not be able to walk today if they never tried again. Proverbs 24, 16, a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again, but the wicked fall into mischief. If we fall down while following Jesus, and we will, we might look away from the path and get tripped up sometimes. We have to get back up if that happens. If we stay down, the Bible says we will fall into mischief. We will get in trouble we will start walking like the children of darkness walk. Now, on Thursday, I'm going to tell you what the Bible tells us about how we should walk as children of light. But for now, because of time, I'm just going to leave you with this thought. Learning to walk like a Christian should, should walk isn't necessarily easy. Just like learning to walk as a child wasn't easy. It took many efforts. We might fall down sometimes, just like we did when we were children. But if we get up, brush ourselves off, and just try again, soon we will be walking with the best of them. It all starts with just baby steps.